hello, how are you? Good morning, happy Tuesday. Um, I'm starting this vlog on Tuesday because yesterday was November 30th and I was doing like a whole series of unfortunate events series, but today is December 1st. I can't believe it. This year just has felt so weird. I felt like March, April, and May lasted like an entire year just in those three months and now all of a sudden it's December and I am... I feel like I have whiplash if I'm trying to catch up or jet lag. I do have a reading update for you guys. I told myself yesterday after I finished the end that I wasn't going to do any reading and I got into bed and I was like, oh, I'm just on such a high, I just want to keep going. So I picked up Hollow Pox by Jessica Townsend. I only read the first chapter because I was so, so tired. Um, but it was really good. Just that one chapter and I was like, oh, do I keep going? But I am not feeling well. Um, I'm getting COVID tested again today. I think my work is doing it so soon after the last one because everybody was around family for Thanksgiving and I don't think it was my family. Um, my boyfriend works with like 500 people in a warehouse for Amazon. So I've just always kind of been like, one of us is going to get it. It just has to happen. Like, come on. But my head hurts. It feels very heavy. I am exhausted and my throat hurts, especially on this side. It just feels like it's swollen and it hurts when I swallow. So I don't know what's going on. I'm supposed to get my period this week. So I know that contributes to me being exhausted. Um, but I also just get sick every December. It, that's just what happens. Last year I got laryngitis. And then after that, it just turned into like an upper respiratory infection. And that was at the beginning of December. And I did not start feeling well until the end of February. That's how long it lasted. Um, once like all of the other cold symptoms were gone, I was just left with this like really, really gross cough. And that's what lasted into February. <clears throat> and my coworker, Dan, would like come in and throw cough drops at me because his office is next to mine. I mean, he brought me like a whole economy sized bag that was huge <clears throat> and it was really nice. But sometimes he would like come in and put them on my desk and he's like, you're coughing too much. Um, I really miss stuff like that, but I'm not feeling well. I don't know what it is. I got my results back from my last test. They were negative. Um, I don't think it's COVID. I can still smell and I still have a sense of taste, but I don't feel well. I'm definitely about to get sick. And there's just that like lingering dread inside of me that's like, what if it's COVID? What if it's COVID? And I'm like, how am I going to quarantine? Like, am I going to have to go stay at a hotel? Like, I can't stay with my mom. She lives with her boyfriend and his family. Skylar would have to go stay with his parents, but him and his mom don't always get along. Like, two weeks in the house with her. How is that going to go? Like, am I just going to have to stay in this bedroom and like get a blow up mattress and sleep on the floor for two weeks while my boyfriend like sanitizes the outside of this room it's already stressing me out i go get tested at 10. um also the place where we get tested or like the company that it's through changed their results system so i have i just got my results from the 18th of last month because they were like oh yeah we updated our system and now we just send you an email and i was like okay well i haven't gotten an email and she was like looking through my account she's like oh we don't have an email listed for you and I was like, but I have an account through your other website, so wouldn't you just take the email from there and send it to me? It's also the email I put on my consent form. It's all very frustrating. <laughs> so I just got my results. Negative for antibodies, which means I have never had COVID. Negative for COVID, which is good. Um, but I'm going to get tested again today just because it's free and to make sure because I'm not feeling well. My head just feels so, so heavy. Um... But I'm working. I go in at 10.20, so I'm going to leave probably like 10 o'clock just because I only work like 10 minutes away. Um, yeah. I'm just really, really tired. But I started Holopox, and I am super, super excited to be back in this wonderful, wonderful world. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I feel awful today. 
Um, I have been slowly getting sick over the last couple of days. Um, like Sunday I wasn't feeling very well. Wait, is today Wednesday? Yeah, today's Wednesday. Um, I just haven't been feeling well this week. Um, I was supposed to take tomorrow off to go have lunch with my boyfriend's sister, his grandma who is coming in to visit from Tennessee, his mom and his great aunt. Um, but I don't think that that's a good idea, especially because his sister has a baby and his grandma is older. They're also going to be visiting his great grandmother who is 97 and she lives in a living facility. So I just don't want to risk getting anybody sick. But my head hurts so bad it hurt. It started hurting yesterday. It bothered me all through the night so I slept terribly. It's hurting now. I've taken medication. I'm drinking water. I'm about to have something to eat and hopefully that will help. But I just feel awful. Like, I'm so, so exhausted. And I talked to my boss this morning about, like, some work stuff. And I let him know that I wasn't feeling well. And he was like, what well, do you want to take today off? And I was like, no. It's just going to get worse. If I can still function today and still work today, then I would rather save my time for the days when I can't get out of bed. Because normally when I get sick, it's like a four or five day thing. Um, and I have just enough time to take, like, an entire week off if I have to for, like, sick time. So I would rather save my time for that. Uh, but this happens every single year. I just always get sick in December. Um, and I'd rather it be at the beginning of the month than towards the end of the month because I don't have to miss like holidays and stuff. I also did get tested for COVID yesterday. Again, my job offers it for free. I feel like I have to say that every single time because every time you say you're getting tested for COVID, people are like, is it because you think you have it? No, my job just offers it and it makes me feel better to know that I am negative. Um, so I'll hopefully get my results tomorrow. I don't feel like I have any COVID symptoms. I just, I'm like, this is just what happens every year. Um, reading wise, I did read two more chapters of Hollow Pox last night. Oh, I just absolutely love the world that Jessica Townsend has created in Nevermore, in the Wondrous Society, and it's getting a little darker now. We're learning more about Nevermore. Like Nevermore itself and it's got hidden secrets that it keeps from the townspeople um, which is interesting and you get to learn more about the Wondrous Society and what they really do for Nevermore. Um, what part of what being part of the Wondrous Society really means. So I'm just gonna keep reading that. It's gonna be a slow reading month. I also have a ton of knitting to do still. I'm working on the same blanket but I'm almost done. I'm hoping to finish that you know, today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm just feeling really crappy right now. And I very much want to crawl into bed, but I have a ton of work stuff to do. And I just know it's going to get worse. So I might as well save my time for that. It also feels dumb taking time off from work when I work from home. It's like if I really wanted to, I could just get into bed and work from bed. Um, but I'm gonna try to hold off as long as possible. I'm also feeling super nauseous right now for some reason. So I'm gonna go. <laughs> Hello. Um, I just realized that it's been one, maybe two days since I last updated you guys. It's Friday now. I have had today off, which was really nice. Um, this is my like scheduled Friday. I got up, not early. Um, my boyfriend thought that he had a hair appointment, so he jumped up and got ready and went out the door, went into his car, checked his email, and he was like, came back in, and I was like, what are you doing? He's like, it's next week. I was like, oh, okay. Well, I had just been in the middle of getting ready. I was like, if he's gonna be gone, I'm gonna go to the DMV. I needed to get a real ID, um, which is like when your ID has like a symbol on it, um, because we're going to Colorado. So I went to go do that. It was and wasn't quick. I was there for about an hour and a half, which is, I don't really know in terms of like DMV time. I have only been like three or four times and I've always made appointments so it's always been quick. My boyfriend is the kind of person who just shows up. Um, but they had people waiting outside in like a long line that almost wrapped around the building. Um, it looked longer than it really was because everyone's standing six feet apart. Although the closer you were getting to the front doors, uh, people just thought it doesn't matter, we'll just squish together. 
but this lady was coming around and checking to see what it was that you were there for and I was like I already did all my documents online I've got this confirmation number and she's like cool okay you're coming to this shorter line and then once I got to this shorter line and got inside it was super quick and I was done really eat really fast um, so I'll get my new ID in a it's a driver's license um, but I'll get my new driver's license in a couple of weeks forgot about having to take a picture so I had my hair in a ponytail I was in this t-shirt um, and a sweater and it just We'll see, none of my IDs have ever looked good, so I don't really care. Um, other than that, I have been knitting all day. I am working on this ombre blanket that starts really dark down here and progressively gets lighter. Um, I'm on my last section of it with this like light pinkish purple color. This is for one of my aunts. So I want to finish this in the next like half hour to an hour because I need to cast off and finish it and then there are all these little ends from when you switch colors that need to be like woven in. And I have never done that. I've never completely finished a blanket before, so I'm gonna have to do some YouTube videos. Reading wise, I am still reading Holopox. I'm taking it slow. I'm on page 84. I'm reading like a chapter a night. I just want to enjoy this as much as possible because I did so much like speed and forced reading last month not that I didn't enjoy a series of unfortunate events um, but definitely with the three books I was like I already know all of this information and then towards the end I was like I just want to know what what's going on and you don't really get a lot of answers um, so that was frustrating and I'm just like I just love this series so much that I want to enjoy it as much as possible and I'm just slowly reading, taking in everything that's happening. It's just such a wonderful world. Um, a side note, I got new sheets delivered. This is the cover that they came in. It's like a bundle, but they're this like sage green color. I'm super excited. We have had the same like striped sheets. They're like thick gray and white stripes in two different styles. We had it for like our full bed and then for our queen bed and now I've gotten these and it comes with it was like a whole set that I got from Home Depot Home Depot I would never have thought to get bedding from Home Depot but I did and I got it on sale and it comes with more than I've ever got in like a package from Target it's got the two like fancy pillowcases the two regular pillowcases um, the set of sheets fitted and flat the comforter and it also comes with a skirt which is perfect because we have a really large um, box box spring it's the same size as the mattress so our bed is really high off the bed and I hate that the comforter just stops and then you just see the box spring at the bottom so we'll put the skirt on and I will show you guys later what it looks like it's in the wash right now always wash your stuff before you put it on your bed you don't know who's handled it you don't know how long it's been in a warehouse wash your stuff it was all like bagged up but that's just something that i picked up for my mom always wash your stuff before you wear it before you put it on your body before you put it on your bed um that's it i am home by myself right now my boyfriend just left one of his friends from work it's his birthday i think it was last weekend but they're doing something this weekend they are like out at his friend's dad's house which is in the middle of nowhere they're doing like a bonfire camp night with maybe like five or six guys my boyfriend's not sure if he's staying. He did take stuff to stay and I'm like, okay, I'm getting cozy. I'm gonna knit, I'm gonna read, I'm watching Vlogmas videos right now. And then tonight, I think I'm going to get either ramen from Kaz Ramen, which is one of our favorite places to go. Mine more so than my boyfriend's and I haven't had it in a while, so I really want it. Or royal dumplings and just get like three different types of like soup dumplings, fried dumplings, stuff like that. We will see. I'm just gonna have a good night. I just showered. I'm on, I got feminine issues this week, so I'm not feeling too great. And I definitely think that I should just make myself feel as cozy as possible and try to make myself feel better. Good morning, happy Sunday. Um, I don't know why. I thought it was so much later in the day. So I like jumped out of bed, put clothes on. I was like straightening the front of my hair. Um, and then I was like, it's only 930. <laughs> um, anyways, I actually did some reading last night. I didn't do any reading like the last couple of days. I just haven't been feeling well with these feminine issues. Um, but I'm on page 126 now. We are 
finally. Morgan is finally getting to learn the wondrous arts. Um, the wondrous society calls them the wretched arts, and it's an actual school that used to exist. So they are at the wondrous society, which is split into two different schools, the mundane and the arcane arts. But underneath the school is a whole nother school that used to exist for the wondersmiths and to teach them. And I don't know... I think they all might have gotten killed by Ezra Squaller. I'm thinking I might be getting his last Ezra Squall. In a series of unfortunate events, there's a character called Esme Squaller, and I think I'm mixing up their last names, but he kind of turned out to be evil and thought he wanted to be like basically like a dictarian and thought that because he was a wondersmith, he was above everybody else. Um, and they've kind of erased all of the Wondersmith history, but people who have been around for long enough, I guess, still, like, know about all the bad things that happened. And the people who work at the Wondrous Society are spending their time undoing all of the bad things that the Wondersmiths and Ezra did. So whenever they're around Morgan, they blame her, which I think is so unfair. Um... And someone literally says, we're still cleaning up your mess, which isn't hers, but I will, you know, digress. Um, so she is finally getting to study, and we have a character, um, Murgatroyd and Dearborn. She is one person who, her physical appearance changes, like her spine cracks, her eye color changes, sometimes her height changes. She is typically the two school mistresses for both sides of the school, the arcane and the mundane arts. And as Morgan is getting ready to go down to Sub 9, which is where the Wondrous School is, um, Murgatroyd starts to change and she thinks, oh no, please don't be Dearborn, because they're both horrible, but Murgatroyd at least is pushing for Morgan to start learning how to use her. I'm sorry that I'm like messing with my hair so much. Use her talents because if she doesn't, then the magic just kind of builds up inside of her and it becomes oh. dangerous. My neighbor's dog is barking. Um, so she thinks you need to learn how to control this so you aren't dangerous, which makes sense. Um, but she turns into Rook, Rook Rosenfield, um, who I guess her body just sense that now that there's a student in the wondrous arts, there needs to be three, ooh, I just whistled really loud, there needs to be three school mistresses, which is crazy to me and every time the author describes all of the crackling and popping it gives me the heebie-jeebies. So that's where I am so far. I spent like an hour last night reading. I just wasn't feeling well so that made me feel better and instead of getting into the covers I put this on top of me last night and it's so thick and heavy that the like weight of it just makes me feel better. Um, today I just have to clean up the kitchen and do some house stuff. My boyfriend and I have been doing laundry on and off for the last couple of days, so we don't really need to do any of that. Um, I will need to go grocery shopping for a couple of things, but I didn't cook dinner last week or this week. So I can just use the stuff that I bought for dinner next week. Um, gonna play a little bit of Animal Crossing. It's snowing on my island now, which is fun. And I'm going to start knitting. I finished knitting the blanket that I was working on before, and I'll put a picture right up here. Um, so it goes from dark to light. This is it spread out over my bed. I have a queen size bed, so obviously it's not that big of a blanket. But the material, the yarn is so stretchy that you can just kind of pull on it and it does get bigger, which is kind of weird. Um, so now I'm working on a blanket that is all this like mossy green color. Um, I had a pattern and I had a pattern in mind. That I really wanted to do since this is just one color I wanted to do multiple like um, stitches but I just don't have the time to learn a bunch of new like knitting patterns and I spent all day yesterday just trying to learn one and could not for the life of me get it so I ended up just kind of giving up um, and I'm gonna do two stitches that I know so at least it's like alternating I found a pattern that I think looks really good um, so that's what I'm going to be working on for most of today, but I do plan on doing a little bit of reading, um, so if I do I will update you guys later.
Hello, it is much later. It's almost six o'clock. Um, I just got back from the grocery store and from the pharmacy. I took a small nap and I woke up and my head just hurts so, so bad. I just took some Excedrin, so I'm hoping it's gonna go away in a little bit. I'm just making like a lemon garlic pasta for dinner. It doesn't have a sausage, just like the lemon butter and garlic that makes the sauce with some parmesan and then we're gonna do caesar salad on the side um i'm probably gonna do reading tonight but my head just hurts so bad that i don't know if i will so i thought i would just come on and end this vlog here um i've just been knitting all day that's it uh if you liked this video which i think might be a little weirdly chaotic because i didn't film all that much Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, um, and let me know what your reading plans for December are, what your plans with your family are, if you have any, um, and just kind of how your how your year was. Have you hit your reading goal challenge yet? If not, how many books do you have? Do you even have a reading goal challenge? Yeah, let me know all of that down below, and I will see you in the next one.